Am I the asshole for telling my wife the lock on my daughter's door does not get removed till my brother-in-law and his daughters are out of our house? My brother-in-law, Sammy, lost his home shortly after his divorce 10 months ago. He moved in with us and brought his twin daughters, Olivia and Sloan, 18, with him a couple of months ago. His sister, my wife, and I have one daughter, Zoe, 16, and she and her cousins aren't close but get along fine. Olivia and Sloan have no respect for Zoe's privacy. None. They used to walk into a room and take everything they get their hands on. Makeup, phone accessories, clothes, school laptop, etc. Zoe complained a lot, and I've already asked the girls to respect Zoe's privacy and stop taking things. My wife and Sammy saw no issue with this. After all, they're girls, and this is typical teenage girls' behavior. I completely disagreed. Last straw was when Zoe bought a 60 MAC makeup kit that looks like a paint set that she saved up for over a month, and one of the girls, Sloan took it without permission and ruined it by mixing shades together while using it. Don't know much about makeup, but that's what Zoe said when she found the kid on her bed and was crying. I told my wife and she said she'd ask Sloan to apologize, but I got Zoe a lock after I found she was moving valuable belongings out the house because of this incident. Sammy and his daughters saw the lock and weren't happy. The girls were extremely upset. Sammy asked about it and I straight up told him. He said, My daughters aren't thieves. It's normal that girls of the same age borrow each other's stuff. He said Zoe could easily get another makeup kit for 15 bucks from Walmart and shouldn't even be buying expensive, adult makeup in the first place, and suggested my wife take care of this defect in Zoe's personality, trying to appear older than she is. He accused me of being overprotective and babying Zoe with this level of enablement. I told him this is between me and my wife, but she shamed me for putting a lock on Zoe's door for her cousins to see and preventing them from spending time with her saying I was supposed to treat them like daughters, then demanded I remove it. But I said this lock does not get removed till her brother and his daughters are out of our house. She got mad I was implying we kick them out and said her family will hate me for this. So I reminded her that I let Sammy and his family move in, which is something her own family refused to do. So she should start with shaming, blaming them for not taking their own son and niece's granddaughters in. If it wasn't for her family's unwillingness to help, we wouldn't be dealing with this much disturbance at home. Everyone's been giving me and Zoe silent treatment and my wife is very much upset over this.